Every week there's a new article or a video pops up claiming AI is about to take over the world. But is any of this actually true? Well, I believe that it's not, and by the end of this video you'd probably agree with me. You can't deny it, AI is taking some people's jobs. And the reason for that is pretty simple. AI can just do their job but 10 times faster, or just way cheaper. But there's a barrier between the jobs that are safe and the jobs that AI is taking over. And that barrier is the information barrier. And some jobs for now are pretty safe because currently AI can't do them, like for example construction, but I believe in the future some robots could do that, so that isn't really a part of this conversation, I guess. But what I mean about the information barrier is jobs that are very documented online or just in general. So, as a programmer, AI can make pretty good code for mainstream programming languages because they are really documented and there's a lot of issues and stuff that people already solved online that AI could just copy and learn from. But for programming languages, like assembly that aren't really documented, AI can't really code with them. So jobs that use something that isn't pretty mainstream will most likely be safe. But then I hear you say, that well sure assembly for now isn't really documented, but in a few years it would probably have enough information that AI could learn from and actually code with. And for that I say that assembly was created for more than 70 years and if it still hasn't gotten enough information to learn from, then I don't think it will happen in the near future. To solve the information barrier, a lot of people suggested that AI companies will use synthetic data to train their AI, and that way they'd get a lot of high quality information very quickly, and the people predict that they'll start using it in 2027. Now there's so many things that are wrong with saying that they'll actually use it, and to realize why it's so wrong, we'll need to talk about incest. I know it sounds weird, but trust me. Now, other than being very weird and really gross, incest can lead to a lot of very bad mutations that makes the baby's life really hard. The reason a lot of incest families look so unique, I guess, is because when they breed, the bad parts of their DNA basically get amplified, and this don't happen in normal relationships. Because they got two different DNA strips, if one have a really bad mutation, then the other one cancels it out. Now it relates to AI because when it uses synthetic data, then every tiny mistake in that data will get amplified by a ton. For example, if the first AI makes it so humans got six fingers in each hand, then the other AIs that will get trained by that synthetic data will all think that humans got six fingers in each hand and that will create that sort of like incest effect where every tiny mistake will be extremely amplified and all of the AIs that will get trained by that data will have it. So I've talked about how AI could take some people's jobs, but I don't think it's gonna be more different than how the internet took some blockbuster and GameStop employees jobs. Then, I talked about the point a lot of people are afraid of, when AI could generate its own data and train on it, and why that can't actually happen. And if you think I'm wrong about this, here's what I think is the most convincing reason. That is that code literally doesn't work the way people think it does. We would never have a terminator moment unless the programmer explicitly code that into the AI. And because I don't think most AI companies would want to kill their customers, I think would be pretty safe. And when I say that code doesn't work the way most people think it does, I mean it so code literally can't think for itself. The entire point of a code is to tell the computer what to do. The computer is really fast, but it's so stupid and it can't think for itself, no matter what you do, even if you use AI. Now, some people try to counter that by bringing up how certain AI chatbots have said wild things. Like when Gemini told the user to please die, but that's not the AI thinking for itself. 
that's just because the training data had some crazy stuff in it like that and the devs just forgot to filter it out. So like every prediction, the only way to really know who's right is just to wait. And personally, I think it's going to be just like the Y2K movement. With people getting scared from stuff, they don't really understand. But yeah, I could be wrong, I'm just a guy calling himself baboon online. So I guess we need to wait and see. People are saying that AI will take over in the final half of 2027. So I guess we should just wait and see who's right. But yeah, if you like the video, you can watch these two videos right here. And if you enjoyed, leave a like, subscribe. If you wanna tell me anything, just write it down in the comments. I read every comment. And yeah, in any case, bye bye.